ChatGPT is an AI-powered chatbot that has taken the world by storm thanks to its ability to provide tailored solutions to complicated questions. And it's ideal when a simple Google search can't solve your problem. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a Web3 app in no time at all. My name is Hakeem and I'm a Web3 engineer working for eBay. My mission is to educate you on Web3 development in e-commerce. So let's begin. First of all, head over to the ChatGPT uh, website. So simply type in ChatGPT, click on this first link and click on try. Right, so this is the screen you will see if you already have an account. If you do not, you'll need a email and also a phone number just to register. And you can only have one phone number per account. Right, so from here, what I have to the left is a React application that I've already made. Um, the template will be in the description and you can just clone the repository and go from there or just download the folder and literally open it up in your text editor. So from here, what I'm going to do is ask ChatGPT. Let me just make this bigger. So the requirements for this tutorial are the following. Node.js above version 14.18 just to support this template. However, if you're using a different template, then that will vary. It's a very simple tutorial, so let's begin. So the first question I'm going to ask ChatGPT is to give me a template. So give me a React app web3 template that supports wallet connectivity and now it'll give you a response so if you don't know what web3 connectivity means it just is the ability to connect a cryptocurrency wallet to an application and as you can see we are being generated some boilerplate code and this code here i'm going to replace this entire app.jsx with this. As you can see, we have one dependency here, which is web three. Now this is an old package. Um, it's not really used much anymore and it's been replaced by ethers library, but we'll dive into that in just a moment. So once chat GPT generates the code, we'll also explain it down here. So I'll tell you what it is, how it works, which is really cool, right? So from here, I'm going to just copy this code, select all of this. Now we need to install this package here. So let's do npm i web3. And now we can run npm run dev. Click on this link. And as you can see, it prompts you to automatically connect to the application. For best practices, this isn't ideal because imagine if you go to a website and it immediately prompts you to do something. Uh, most people would panic and click away. So this isn't the best thing to do. What I'm gonna, and the reason why it's doing this is because of this method here. So I'll talk through what this code is actually doing. Let me explain this code really quickly. We have these two state variables here, one for the web three uh, object and the account, which is the actual connected wallets. And in this init function here, we have this window.ethereum uh, object. Now what this is, is every single injected wallet is what they're called, injects this window.ethereum object. So MetaMask is the most popular example of this. So if you have the MetaMask extension here, this is injecting this Ethereum object into the browser. And if it exists, then it will try to connect. If it doesn't exist, it will error out. The reason why it prompted the connect screen just then is this await method. So it's awaiting window.ethereum request ETH request accounts. And that's what's causing that um, Prompt. Now we don't want this on the actual initialization of the page. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add in a button. Add. So if it exists, I'm going to have this button here. Button. And then on click. Handle click. Connect. And then I'm going to make a async function right so we're gonna do this instead and if I refresh the page right so as you can see we weren't prompted by that uh, connect wallet 
unless we do this now we are what we're going to do is replace this with the ethers library so if we head down to here run um so i'm going to ask chat gpt to replace this code with ethers and something called web3 modal which we'll see what what that is in just a moment so replace this code the reason why you want to use ethers is because ethers is again the more popular library because it supports TypeScript. And I will dive into what TypeScript is in another video. And Web3 Modal is used to support multiple different wallets. So not just Met MetaMask, but also Coinbase Wallet, Fortmatic, or Wallet Connect, which is a gateway to supporting many different kinds of wallets. You can do that through Web3 Modal. Right, so it's gave us a code here. Let's just copy this. Now we'll need to install Ethers and Web3 Modal. So let's open up a new terminal, npm i ethers. And you can see just how fast and easy using ChatGPT really is to produce customized code, right? So here it is. Let's quickly walk through the code again. So we have these two state variables here, provider, which is what we use to communicate to the blockchain and the address of the wallet. This use effect hook, again, an initialization method that gets called every time the component first renders. And we have this web feed modal connects, which is what you'll see in a moment. The provider is retrieved from this ethers library that we just installed. We're setting the provider. And then from that, we're getting the signer, which is what we use to sign and perform transactions. So like buying, uh, selling any write method to the blockchain. And then we're setting the address. Let's head over to the application again, hit refresh. If you notice, it's not prompting us to connect because ethers isn't using that method anymore. So we have an error here. So it's trying to connect, but we're already connected. What I'm gonna do is click on MetaMask, disconnects. Right. And then again, like before, I'm gonna add in a button that's gonna call the connect method. So in fact, instead of me doing this, let's ask ChatGPT to do it for us. Add a connect wallet button to amazing, just amazing. Right, so we have this connect wallet button now. So let's copy this code, replace all of this and save. Head back over to the application. Bam, there we go, connect wallet. Perfect. Great, so you've seen how easy it is to create a Web3 application using ChatGPT. So for more Web3 content, check out my other video on how to make a Web3 app.